Hey you guys, welcome once again to One Life, One Chance, and as always, we're going to be taking a console game today, and we're going to be seeing how long we can last off One Life, and today that game is Shinobi 3, The Return of the Ninja Master. Now, this was in one of my first uh, groups of Sega Genesis games I owned, and it's absolutely fantastic, not being biased, hopefully you'll get to see for yourself how good this game is, even if we're only going through with One Life, so we'll start a game now. And uh, basically you play a ninja master and you got to foil the plans of all these terrorists and along the way you'll encounter some epic boss battles and uh, you'll also fight a whole pile of mystical beings so they'll be like <clears throat> normal uh, enemies and then you'll also sort of get the more magical make-believe fantasy kind of. So it kind of mix, mixes fantasy with real life this game and, and that's part of the charm with like either ninja games or ninja movies in general so it's really really good. Along the way, there's all sorts of cool power-ups you can collect. Um, this one would happen to be my favourite. It just makes the ninja stars that you're carrying a lot stronger. And um, You've got a limited amount of ninja stars. They're usually pretty plentiful. You usually can find them quite easily. Here, we've got another pickup. Um, the good news is if you're feeling a little bit daring, you can actually get in real close to an enemy. We'll, we'll do that in a sec, actually. Oh, I've just got the hiccups. Forgive me. <laughs> These videos are live and uncut. Yeah, if you get in close, uh, you'll either hit them with a, a sweet kick or your sword instead of ninja star. So, if you feel like taking a chance, you can actually save some uh, ammunition. So that can be part of the strategy too. And uh, the controls are pretty simple. You got a jump button, you got the attack button, and then you got a magic button, um, which gives you some kind of ability. I can't remember what it does, but we'll work that out if we need to use it. And uh, as you can see, the graphics are absolutely amazing in this. I love how the background scrolls. And uh, in case you haven't already noticed, the soundtrack is pretty good too, but I'm sure you have. And uh, if you're already impressed with the game, the good news, guys, is that uh, it just gets better and better as you go along. And it's a word that I throw around so much that you could probably make a video of it in itself. But this is another hybrid, guys, and there's just so many things you can do. There's side scrolling, there's vertical scrolling, uh, you can ride animals. Uh, there's always something new to see and do, and it just feels like the game keeps improving as it goes along. Um, <clears throat> off the top of my head, because it's been so many years since I've played it, I only remember the first few levels. Um, so I'll be keen to do a long play of this actually again in the future. I'll do one in the next couple days anyway. Uh, these aren't the bosses here, they're just kind of like. Uh, guarding the exit. This is actually the second half of the level. And uh, look look how much, look how improved this looks compared. You thought the last level looked good. I mean, those waterfalls in the background, they just had such a nice touch. Like, it's a 2D game, but it's one of the nicer looking Genesis games. Everything kind of feels alive to a point. And, uh, I don't know, I've always been impressed by this. I did mention that this was in the first group of Genesis games I got. I probably got it in about 1994 or 1995. Uh, I only got my Sega Genesis about a year earlier than that. Um, so, in that sense, this did come out later in the Sega Genesis lifespan. Um, I can't remember how many Shinobi games there were actually, but I think there were three on... Maybe two or three on Genesis, and including a spin-off or something. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not really knowledgeable on the franchise. Um, I just happen to actually just like this game so much, really. I think we've got a boss battle coming up. This is a game's actually a lot more of a challenge even early on than I'm probably making it look. I'm just fortunate enough that I kind of remember how to maneuver my way around uh, this early level. But, uh, as you can see, there's other cool things you can do, like jump off walls. It's just a matter of, uh jumping against the wall and then pressing jump again and springing off. Um, I got stuck a little bit at first as you notice, it's all a timing thing, but once you kind of get used to it again, it's like riding the bike. And we've got another pitfall here. I don't know if you can double jump, maybe you can't. Shinobi gets some pretty good height, or whatever, I think his name's Shinobi. I'm assuming his name's Shinobi because that's what the game's called. It's kind of embarrassing because I don't even know the full storyline, but... I'm only judging games on the merits here, but anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, he jumps pretty high from the get-go anyway. It's a nice 
nice touch to get around enemies. You can also do a jump kick. Um, and you can sort of use that to springboard off if you need to get on the other side of a bad guy. And I'll... Or a boss of bad guy. I'm sounding like I'm about 8 years old now. I'm going to use my spell here because I'm out of ammunition. I should have been a bit more careful with it. So I'm not sure if this is invincibility. We're about to find out. Anyway, this first, this first boss isn't too much to worry about. This is a set pattern here, really. The game's kind of feeling like a piece of cake, I think, because I'm so used to playing all those really challenging arcade games and beating up to their bosses, and how they're always trying to bleed you from your coins, and then I play something that's on the console that's a little bit more forgiving, and uh, yeah, it just makes me feel better than what I am, I guess. <laughs> I didn't change the difficulty, though, so I think this is all normal. but I like in games when the enemies change colour according to how many hits um, you've given to them. It's a nice indication of how well you're doing in the fight. And, uh, gosh, one hit left. Damn, we didn't make it past that guy. I wanted to show you so much more, but don't worry, guys. I will do a full playthrough eventually, but thank you once again for joining us to One Life, One Chance. It is always great to have you, and if you like what we do, please share, subscribe, tell your friends about us. And we'll see you next time.